All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Radiator Toggle mod, which is being made by forum user Snark. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability to toggle the radiators on your ship on or off. And why this is important is because of the most recent update, 1.0.5, which added in a whole lot of wonderful new parts and features, but it also changed some existing mechanics. And one of those is the fact that radiators now use electric charge to function, which we can see if we head on into the VAB real quick, and then head down to the Utilities tab, where if we find radiator, you will notice that it does in fact, yes, right here, require a 1.5 electric charge per minute for this small radiator panel to actively cool your ship. And honestly, I think this is a good thing, as it does mean that you have another fun element to balance with your ships, but the problem comes with the fact that sometimes you just don't have anything on your ship that needs cooling, so why keep these on and waste electric charge? Now, some radiators we can actually already do this with, the deployable ones, which we have right down here, only use electric charge when they are actually deployed, which is quite nice. Once you pack them back up, then they're good to go. They don't use any electric charge anymore. But these various sort of stationary radiator panels, etc., oh boy, yeah, they just keep using electric charge constantly. And for deep space voyages, this could potentially kill your long-term vessel if you don't plan accordingly. But thanks to this toggle radiator mod, you can actually turn these off now and not have to worry about that, because it, it just makes sense. Why use a part and waste electricity with it if you're not actually in need of it? So let's actually head out of here and go to the tracking station, where I've got a ship in space where we can see this all in action and, uh, you know, take, uh, take a little look at the gloriness that is this mod. Gloriness? That's a new word I haven't used. Oh boy, that's a... Uh, that was a little weird. All right, but first and foremost, let's first bring back in our solar panels so that you can actually see the electric charge draining from this thing. And the first thing I'm gonna show off is of course the deployable panels in so that you can see that we already do have these ones that can use electric charge or not use them. And so what we're gonna do is hit one and that should pop these radiators out and while deployed, they are only using electricity now. Of course, not much at 0.1 per second or so, so we slowly tick down our electric charge. But over time, that will drain, and of course, if we close this, we go back to zero electric charge. Now, the fun thing is, these radiator panels that I have, the edge ones, I've already turned their status to inactive, and thanks to the toggle uh, radiator mod, I can set this to an action group. So I've already got these turned off. We're not using any electricity, but if you didn't have this mod installed, these would be constantly on, and just these four radiator panels that I have would be using 0.3 electric charge, which as you can see is already draining our battery at a pretty stiff pace there. It's uh, going down pretty regularly, which again, isn't a good thing for long-term vessels, especially if you say perhaps you forget to open up your solar panels or something along those lines and then forget about it. You fast forward and then all of a sudden you have no electrical charge when you may not need to. Like right now, my engines aren't on. I literally do not need to actually cool anything on this ship. So we can either right click on these radiator panels and deactivate them manually with this button or of course set them to an action group, which I have it on too. And boom, I just toggle them off. We're now using zero electric charge. And that, that is just wonderful. It, and it, again, it just makes sense. If you're not needing the part to be turned on, why just have it always on? Now, of course, uh, you could always just avoid it by using the uh, deployable 
radiators, but sometimes the deployable radiators aren't exactly the best choice. You need a much larger radiator for, say, like a large engine array or something along those vari that variety. So these these sort of stationary bolt-on panels it can actually get rid of more heat at a much quicker rate with more efficiency. They do, of course, use more power to do so, but now we can turn that power on and off, which is just glorious. So yes, if you would like to try this mod out for yourself, which I definitely would suggest you go and do it, you can uh, check it out in the link in the description and definitely give it a go. It will potentially save one of your vessels from dying in space somewhere. Well, but yes, I hope you have enjoyed this fairly short little mod video today, but then again, not really a whole lot to talk about. You can toggle radiators on or off. It's a good thing. You should go and download it, have fun with it, and of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and that you do come back for the next episode, when we'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.